a training mindset. So I'll lead off with this one. How do I train my clients to have uh, a mindset that's uh, a tough mindset when they're when they're training? Uh, Joe's a trainer also, so uh, we're trainers and we're also people who actually work out too, which is where the should be. Should be. <laughs> uh, for me, um, I always put something in my my clients' program that I know will give them a run for their money or something that's going to give them a challenge where they have to look at it and decide, am I going to attack that or am I going to pretend it's not there? Um, so how how I help them with that is um, breaking it down. Right? If I got a heavy set, they got a heavy set of, let's say it's a heavy set of 135 back squat for them um, and it's 10 reps. I, I tell them things that every two reps is a small victory, right? If you only look at the 10, it might get real daunting and then you might start failing at a five. But you don't want just twos. Break it down into really small chunks for me. Um, with my goal, is I have to break them down to really, really small chunks. The goal is still the same, but I have to break it down into really small chunks so that I can get the momentum mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. So for me, I always put something in their program that's gonna give them a challenge, always. And it doesn't matter who it is. Um, there's always something in their program that they're gonna like. But there's also something in their program that's going to make them uncomfortable. And I think once they keep getting in the habit of attacking and accomplishing uncomfortable things, their mindset starts to change where that one movement is just not uncomfortable anymore. It's like, all right, I, I know I got back squats. Mm -hmm. I know I got I got controlled RDLs. I know that. So I'm, I'm good now. Then now we can start attacking something a little more that's uncomfortable. But how, how do you do that with your clients, Joe? Um, well, when it comes to, to get them to be comfortable being uncomfortable, first thing I explain to them, like, especially a working set, like, it is all mindset. So, for example, like, I'll have a lot of people that I have new when they do their working set, they'll do some shit with the, like, shaker. When I, when they go into the working set, like, say it's like leg extensions, when they feel how much weight it is, they shake their head and go, oh, this is heavy. And I'm like, you just ruined your set. Mm -hmm. Like, mentally, you throw, you just threw yourself off. Like, as mm -hmm. soon as you said this was heavy, as soon as you said that, I don't know if I can do this. It's done. You're, you're over. You have to go into it. I can do it confident, positiveness. So like, again, if we go to the scenario of like, say this person got eight reps and they need nine, you have to mentally be there and know that like, hey, this weight's heavy, but I did this last week. So I know this first rep is going to be rough, but I just need to endure the uncomfortableness as much as I can to see if I can progress with this rep. Okay. Again, it's that whole, you have to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Like you're talking about putting things in your, um, in your client's programs that's gonna make them um, be challenged. Mm -hmm. I think every exercise should be challenging because like that's how we're gonna grow. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say when people get a job for the first time, they're horrible. That's what I was, as was you, whatever job we yeah, had, yeah, as yeah, we yeah. were horrible when we first started because we didn't know. But then as we did our job and we got better at it, we became more efficient at it, the job became easier. The tasks are still the same, but the job just became easier. So. Yeah. When you get people to understand like, hey, this is the things that we have to do. It might not be fun and it might not be comfortable, but these are your goals and this is what you need to do to reach them. Then their mind's like, okay, well, if, if this is what's gonna take to get there, then I'm gonna do it. And I think what helps is that you were talking to me about before about posting videos, okay? Yeah. When people can see that you preach or you practice, I'm sorry, what you preach, it, it changes. Absolutely. When people Absolutely. think that they're just like, oh, you're just, like you're just telling me to go slow with this or that. It's like, no, 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 I do it too. I'm not just gonna say like, you know, I told you before about people like, oh, you just go really slow with light weights. It's like, no, I go really slow with heavy, heavy weights. weights. And it took a long time going slow with light weights to get to heavy weights. Yeah, but it's one of those yeah. things where like, you you know, like there was a time when like, I didn't control my weight like I did like, like I do now. And there's times where I used to, just like everybody else, like, I've been through it. And it's one of those things where you experience things and you know how, you know, the wrong way to do it, and then you find out the right way to do it, and then when you find out the right way to do it, you have to take a step back in regard, for me, it was in regards to weight. So I had to take a step back with the weight that I was using, go back to lightweight, and then slowly work myself to heavyweight again. But it was the thing where I had to mature, step back, and look at the situations, and what are my goals? To get there, how do I get there the fastest? And then just committing and being like, all right, well, it's not gonna be comfortable. Just like every working step, like I said, it's not comfortable, yeah. but we're gonna do it. How do you, how, so how do you, how do you, um, how do you relay that to someone? That's that's amazing to, to look at it like that. How do you get that across 
to somebody. Like, let's say that somebody that's not a trainer mm -hmm. and who may not have a mindset like that yet, but they want it. Like they, they want to grow. How do you relay that to someone? Extreme positive talking all the time. Letting like them that. know like that, that, like, listen, this is hard, this is rough, but you can do it. Yeah. I've seen many other people do it before. I've helped a lot of other people do it. You can do it just like they did it, just like I did it. But it's that like, you know, you got people that are like, you know, I have a, a shirt that's like, do the hard shit. I believe yeah. you should do the hard shit. But it's like, you have to be an asshole about it. Like, you gotta do the hard shit, yeah, but like, it's also like, you, it's it's like uh, an encouraging thing. It's like, listen, you have to do the hard shit to get to where you wanna go, but I got you, like, we can do this, like, you can do this. Yeah. Again, we always look at the overall big picture. So you have a client that's new, it's like, what's your goal? That's your goal? These are the steps are gonna, that you're gonna take to get there. I know it's overwhelming, but it's only overwhelming now. Again, like your first job. Yeah, yeah. It's overwhelming in the beginning, yeah. you get used to it, and then it's muscle memory. You go into do like we're talking about like a deadlift or a squat. You're not thinking about, oh, chest out, back tight, this, this. it's just natural it's now. It's natural now, yeah. yeah. So one of, the, one of the things before we go to the next video, um, this is a big kudos. I think when people think that someone has like a, a killer instinct mindset, like you may have or I may have, they think that those people are jerks. But honestly, I think I think me and Joe met through just being nice by yeah, what's just, up, yeah. how you doing, whatever. Club fit, just casual, yeah. casual talk, you respect each other. Look good. Yeah. And I think you don't have to have a killer mindset and be a jerk. Yeah. Like, so like, you yeah. don't have to you don't have to walk around the gym, never never saying hi. I could not agree more. <laughs> it's one of my biggest pet peeves. You can be an animal in the gym, <laughs> but still be nice and have respect. You can be nice and respectful. Yeah. Because yeah. you're not always in your set. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but I that's how that's actually how me and Joe met. We go to the same gym, um, and the gym is big, so we we don't have to see each other. Yeah. But we we exchange words compliments on each other's like what we're doing and stuff like that yep. so i i want to make sure the audience knows that you can have a killer mindset and still be nice in the gym you you don't, amazing yeah person. you don't have to walk yeah, around yeah. um with a chip on yeah yeah, yeah you don't have to walk around doing that yeah um because there's always someone who has that same mindset who's a really nice